Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for still staying again in this our broadcast. Let's watch Richard Onyonka with the ESCC deputy clashing live on a camera because of one or two three question being asked by Richard Onyonka. After months of what Mohamud informed the committee to be of Onyonka being on the rampage attacking the commission. Mwishimu, I've also been looking forward to see you. Thank you. And I would want to see you outside. Absolutely. Not, not for... No, he, he, he wants for, me for, to for ask me for, you my, for a very good... One, one, for, one, for just one reason. So long as you don't kill me, I'm okay. Yeah. However, both their wishes flopped as they ended up squaring it out before the committee. On many occasions, on live TV and live radio, indicating that if you have an issue with ESCC, just take a briefcase. I would really want to talk to him as a Kenyan, as a honorable member. When you make such kind of allegations, without actually substantiating or allowing could I, I, to come yeah, could I, could I have the right to respond? It, it really so portrays, let, let, let him explain. Uh, Chair, it so really we portrays are a very negative image of a public institution that is supposed to fight corruption. For the last two years, how many cases has ESCC won on corruption? Chair, uh, winning, winning can mean anything. Ours is to investigate. Ah. How many cases has ESCC? Hold on. How many cases? How many cases have you investigated and handed over to the DPP with enough evidence to prosecute? How many have you You don't know. No. It's about clarifying whether he, whether he has ever come across one of our officers receiving briefcase of money from you know uh, offenses that we are investigating or crimes that we are investigating. If you want me. To carry a briefcase with money with you on somebody who's accused, I will take you and you see them get the money. So don't pretend this office and think that we don't know what you're doing. For ESCC, image is everything. If we lose image as ESCC, then we better close shop and just go. I mean, it, it, is, it is very easy to portray someone as corrupt. Can I respond? Finally, some of the members had to intervene to stick to the matter that was before the committee. Vincent Odor, NTV. Now, today I analyzed the ESCC and I asked you guys a simple question. Where are we heading to if the ESCC cannot come out and even fight for Kenyans? I'm seeing there is a state capture in the ESCC. And I want us to dig deep into our political discussion. Why do you think the deputy boss seems to be bitter? And he, he has been annoyed with the Richard Onyonka. Is truth always bitter? Is Onyonka exposing the ESCC for their reluctant? Or is ESCC pampering the government? We have several cases which should be sorted out by the ESCC. Bishop Oginde is reluctant. He's nowhere to be seen. He's a man known for his potential work. And I know him. Not that I don't know him. I understand him very well. But we are wrong. Or did Ruto decided to appoint Oginde in order to be pampered? Even if there is abduction in this country, no one is talking about. Even if there is murder in this country, no one is talking about. Even if there is police arrest in this country, illegally, no one is talking about. Just some, some days ago, Masengeli refused to represent himself at the court. That is above the law. 
yet you have a case to answer. We've seen several projects being exposed, government project. Billions of money getting lost. Kenyans are demonstrating. People are being killed like chicken. The international community is also questioning. No, we must be curious with this our country movement. And I like how Onyonka responded to the ESCC debut. Even though they flopped up, but truth is always bitter. I mean, there's no one who will stay in this world forever. There's no one who will stay in this world forever. But we must leave that positive legacy to innocent Kenyans, future generation, future doctors, future president, future teachers, and the rest. If today we misbehave, expect worst. And you, a good example, you as a parent, let us assume, a father, forget about women, if you don't prepare yourself for your family today or for uh, future, then they are going to blame you. I'm talking to parents. <laughs> eh? If you don't prepare well to them. That is what I'm talking about. That is what we are discussing about. There's nothing wrong with the demonstration. There's nothing wrong for the police officers to arrest someone. It is indicated in our constitution. In any case, you responded to them illegally or you've done something wrong, you must be arrested. Because there is no one above the law. But it seems that EACC itself is pampering the government. President himself is coming out live on camera saying that there is nothing happening this and that. I know you know them. Whatever happens or whatever is taking place. But the EACC have never come up clearly. Even questioning what happened. Billions of money got lost some months. County governors are thieves stealing county government uh, money or tax. Today a friend of mine, Lima Queni, drafted uh, the MPESA accounts. How the governors, uh, how many governors have large, uh, many MPESA accounts. How they do their transaction. Some having 200, some having 300. If you go to Lima Queni, you will see on his page. He has shared that. And it is true, because I saw it even in somewhere. The ESC can never even ask about that. They are only arresting those who are taking 20 bob, those who are taking 50 bob, kwa barabara, traffic police. How pia ni cheo yao kidogo? Kwa sababu njini ndiyo mnaleta hayo. Amwezi pata njia ama suluisho, Ya kurekebisha makosa kama hayo. So Onyonka is speaking the truth. And we must speak the truth. This man has been asking Ruto's administration several questions. So I think the ESCC are now waking up. If things have gone wrong. I don't know if there is someone threatening the, those who are at the ESCC. ESCC is independent. They are not supposed to associate with any person in the government. Whether you are the president, whether you are the deputy, whether you are the, 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 the speaker of the National Assembly, whether you are MP, whether you are governor, you are not supposed. Because you protect the country and your work is to ensure that there is no corruption, there is no mannerless behavior, there is no evil behavior happening in this our country but now because you've done that mistake by allowing this to grow one day you will be questionable we must be be, be realistic 
surely. I have never seen Oginde, the boss of ESCC. Even talking about the hillside. Talking about governor purchasing one million crate, one million uh, crate of soda. At crate una soda crate una buy na one million. Several governors, some are even being arrested outside. Then they come to pretend that they went to project this and that, threatening innocent Kenyans. That, oh, you will be doing this. Those are nothing. Why, why, why are you misusing county government funds? Why are you misusing Kenyan's tax? And why are we allowing even police abduction? It's very wrong. We are making our constitution not to be obeyed. So the ESCC must subject themselves fully if they want to rescue our country. Or else, or else, we are going to be worst. At Tanzania, in the next 10 coming years, at Watatushinda and economy, Uganda at Watatushinda, so calculate, kama Uganda Watatushinda tutakuwa wapi. Not because we don't have resources. We have resources. We are rich as Kenyans. But because we have leaders who are not bothered, they are unskilled in leadership. They don't want to be corrected. It's very wrong. Let's watch and think for a better future in this our country. Let us not love ourselves and stay focused as Kenyans. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your take? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Thank you. And let's meet on another political discussion. Bye-bye.